guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Fast Box UC40 LED projector. So here's the box that it comes in. Pretty generic. It doesn't even have any of that that I just said. Fast Box or the name of the projector. It's kind of a generic box. And the projector itself, which also has a slightly different label than what was listed on the Amazon listing, but it is the same label that is on the picture on the Amazon listing. So this little guy runs just over $70 and is actually pretty impressive for the cost. First of all, what came in the box came with a remote control, your little uh, audio video cable here, a lens cap that I have currently removed, and then the power plug, which is currently plugged into the power. So you can see all your buttons up here on top. You have your power button, your menu, this is your source button. Um, your menu navigating buttons on the OK, pause play if you're going to be using the SD card, and then a back or return. Now this guy has 800 lumens and the resolution is 800 by 400 native. Now it says it does, it says 1080p FHD decoding on the box, so it actually leads you to believe that it's HD when it's playing, but it, it really isn't. But it still looks really good, and I'll show you a little bit. I'll show you that in just a minute. So here's the side that has all your inputs on it. So we have the headphone jack, the audio video slot there, the HDMI, and then two USBs. This one says USB, and this one says out SV, so I'm not exactly sure what that one does. But then you have your SD card slot right there. And this side is where you have your power. Here's the front of it. And underneath, you do have a little adjustment knob here so you can prop it up. And on the back has the... IR receiver for the remote and a fan. And then also up top you do have your focus which this little wheel here is a little bit tricky to I mean it doesn't just slide I mean right now I'm rubbing my finger pretty hard and it's not going anywhere you really have to dig into it and you can actually see that it moves the lens in and out to focus. And then you have your keystone right here as well just in the little turning wheel so that's the, the keystone is actually a manual thing as opposed to a digital thing as well. So let me uh, fire it up here real quick and show you. And actually I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lamp during this demonstration so you can actually see a little bit better. Okay, so the power is plugged in. Let's power it on. And you're going to notice that the fan is actually quite loud. So you can hear the fan. Pretty loud fan, but I wouldn't expect it to be, to be too quiet at this price point. Now I'm going to actually be plugging in HDMI uh, just to my iPhone and I'll just play a movie here to show you real quick. Oop. Okay, so this is the trailer for The Princess Bride. And the speaker actually gets quite loud. Let me turn it up a little bit. It doesn't sound great, but it gets loud. I'm going to turn it way down now. Okay, now the projector is actually too close to the wall right now. It's a little bit blurry, so I'm going to turn... Or I'm going to pick it up and actually move it back a little bit. So bear with me. But there you go. So right now this has the room light on, which would be still a little bit too bright probably to watch this. You want to be in complete darkness for this. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the light off entirely. Oops. And there we go. Now it just has the computer light. but it... it actually looks pretty good. You could easily watch a movie with this or play a game if you use an external sound source where you could have bigger speakers that weren't coming from the projector. But the picture is really good, surprisingly, for an 800 by 400. looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and expect. So you can hear the fan is still chugging away pretty loud. One thing that's different compared to other projectors, like I have a BenQ projector, when I turn this one off, 
I mean, it powers down and the fan goes off almost immediately. Whereas my BenQ, my more expensive $700 projector, will run the fan for a while to cool the bulb. So I don't know if that just means it's not very hot. I mean, it doesn't feel hot anywhere. So, But overall, I was impressed with this little projector. Good picture. And for 73 bucks, I mean, really, you can't go wrong. You could throw this into your backpack and take it really anywhere, do a quick little movie night if you had some decent speakers. But the fact that you can plug just a USB into it or an, H an SD card is a pretty cool feature. So if you have any questions about this projector, feel free to comment below and I will respond as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you found this helpful, click yes or like below and thanks for watching. <music>